today we're making a dish in the Instapot called beef short ribs. We use the long bone of the short rib, the real meaty part. Come take a look. The whole recipe takes just a little bit over an hour and that's with coming to pressure time and everything. The sauce is a very rich sauce made with bacon, tomato paste, onions, and it's just really delicious. So come along with me and let's make some beef short ribs in the Instapot. Let's take a look at the ingredients needed for this recipe. First, you're gonna need some meaty beef short ribs. I got these at Costco, they're just beautiful, but you can get them at any butcher shop grocery store, four pieces of uncooked bacon that you're going to dice up, one 10.75 can ounce of beef consomme, about three tablespoons of tomato paste, one to two tablespoons of canola oil, and one half cup of your favorite red wine. I'm using a red blend a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of water to thicken the sauce at the end. You're going to need about five garlic cloves minced up, one large brown onion diced, and some salt and pepper to taste. I usually like to prepare all my vegetables first that are going into my dish, so I'm usually going to peel and dice up my onion, for this recipe I do like it a little bit small, it, some people might want to leave them as um, slices, very thin slices, so it's really up to you how you like your onion, but I like it diced up. Then I'm going to move on to preparing my garlic, take off the outer skin, peel off the number of cloves I want, in this case I'm using five to six small cloves. If you have larger cloves, you could probably get away with using four. And of course, if you like more garlic, you can put even more than that. So it's all a personal preference. So I have a few different ways I like to prepare my garlic for mincing it. You can, of course, mince it with a knife, which isn't my favorite. And I also have a new professional garlic press that I like to use but you'll see in this case, I'm gonna take out my mini chopper and just get it chopped up really quickly. I love using this little thing. It's so easy to clean up too. After I prepare my vegetables, I like to go on to the raw meat products. For contamination purposes, I like to get the veggies done first. So as you can see, I'm just gonna dice up my bacon. Now I'm gonna set my Instapot to saute mode so it can warm up so I can start browning my ribs. First thing I do is generously salt and pepper them on both sides, put in my oil, let it warm up, and start browning them on all sides. And I'm gonna continue this process for all of the three ribs, making sure that I have salt and pepper on all sides of the ribs. After the ribs are done, I remove them from the pan, put in my bacon, saute my bacon, put in the onions until the onions are translucent and the bacons are slightly cooked. Pour in my garlic, my red wine, my beef consomme, and my tomato paste. I start out with two tablespoons of tomato paste. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put the vent on sealing, hit cancel, and put the manual pressure for 42 minutes. If you want your ribs extremely tender, you can cook it a few minutes more than that, up to 50. Then you do a natural release of 10 to 11 minutes, and then finish it off with a quick release. The quick release is going to release the rest of the pressure in the Instapot. Once you see the pin drop, then you know it'll be a safe time to open the lid. Once the pin drops, I'm gonna go ahead and open the lid. And I always lift it away from myself so I don't burn myself with the steam. And look at those gorgeously cooked ribs. Carefully remove them from the pot. As you can see, they fell off the bone. And this is 42 minutes of cooking time. 
I'm going to remove them so I can finish up the sauce. I cover the ribs with foil to keep them warm. And then I use my tongs to remove the rack. Now I get my fat separator and I'm going to slowly pour the sauce into the strainer and ensuring that I carefully push through the sauce and look at all the goodness on the top. That's the bacon and the onions. You wanna save that. We'll be adding that back into the pan when we're putting it all back in the Instapot. So I'm gonna keep repeating this process till I get a full two cups of broth. Again, I'm saving the bacon and the onions and repeat this for the rest of the sauce in the Instapot. Once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bacon and onions back in and only pour in the broth that was separated from the fat. You'll be surprised at how much fat comes out doing this process. Now that I have my sauce ready to go, I hit cancel and put saute mode on because we're going to go ahead and thicken the sauce with a cornstarch slurry. I'm using one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of cold water. Now I'm gonna stir it well and wait for it to come to a boil and thicken up. Usually it'll take about one to two minutes of cooking time after it comes to a boil. Once it's to the thickness that you like, go ahead and return your ribs to the Instapot. You wanna submerge them in the sauce to warm them up and coat them in the luscious gravy. And there you have it, beef short ribs in the Instapot. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give my video a thumbs up and comment down below. If you would like to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to be informed when my next video is available. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.